Hello everybody and welcome once again to Feed the Beast Ocean Block. Today we are going to carry on with Draconic Evolution, so let's get started. So, I wanted to have a look at upgrading this. So the, the Draconic version of this shield control module requires uh, two netherite ingots, no big deal. Emeralds, no big deal. The, the existing shield controller from Wyvern 1, which we've already got, plus these Draconic cores. Well, the Draconic cores are actually expensive. So these need uh, one, four Wyvern cores, plus which represents 16 Draconic cores, plus another star, plus these awakened Draconium, uh, we'll, and another star, we'll produce one of these with one million um, OP. So let's go and make that. I've already got everything prepared as it happens. I'm just seeing if this, if this egg will spawn. <laughs> uh, if it does, I actually managed to get a rabbit in here. I'll show you how we did that later on. Maybe, maybe another day. So here we've got everything we need. So we can craft this up. So we've got these cores. Um, and it's going to tell us what we're going to get. So we're going to get Draconic cores. So let's get this up. Let's get this charged up. Have a look at it. One million is not such a big deal. So it should go quite quickly. There we go. So let's take this out of here. And then we can then complete this recipe and get our draconic shield controller, which goes in here. So that goes in the middle, and then this one goes on the side. Side, if you split it up, and they get with the draconic shield controller. It's got a shield, a cooldown of ten seconds. This one's got a cooldown of twenty seconds. A maximum installable is one, which is good because they're very expensive. <laughs> so let's come put this in. Um, I have actually. Because at the moment it says we've got no shield installed if you look down. It's very difficult to see, but that's what it says. So we can put this one in. In fact, that's a two by two. They, these things have different sizes. Like that. And as soon as we do that, then we're going to start getting some some levels on it. I'm just seeing if I can find a position where you can actually see. Difficult to see. Well, that's one part. But I think, I think we need these as well. So we actually need capacity modules which are also pretty expensive in terms of uh, uh, draconium cores because it's another wyvern core. Just to, just to remember, there's four of these plus another star. Another star is where we're growing our own anyway. We've got tons of heads, so it's actually not a big deal in either case. So let's let's make one of these. What's this? Maximum installable. It doesn't tell me, but it boosts the shield. So the shield capacity becomes 50 points with this one. But it does have a use. We can make put five of these together. We'll get one of these here. So that's one use. It also can make a draconic undying module. But for that, I need a token of totem of undying. I is there a recipe for that? Actually, there is a recipe for that. Well, we need a bucket of life from blood magic. Copper. Actually, the recipe is pretty cheap, so it's not, not it's not that difficult. But I've got to start doing blood magic. And then we need that Wyvern Shield Capacity module here, and that's produced this token that I'm dying, um, which we can then presumably upgrade with uh, these capacity modules, etc., to make one of these. Maximum installable too. So we're talking a lot of lots of other stars and some potions, potion of healing. So that's that one done. Let's put this install this one. What size is it? it should tell me the size. It's a one by one module, so we can put that in here like this. And as soon as we do that, now we start to see our shield, our shield going up in the bottom left hand corner. Let's just press the in and highlight it here. See, we've actually got two of fifty, but I've got some more things prepared. So let's go and have a look at this. This is um, a jump module, and for that we need uh, potions of leaping. The recipe for potions of leaping: rabbit foot, so awkward potion, dead straightforward. Um, let's take let's take these. We're allowed to have four of these ones, and every time we do this, we create a quest. Unfortunately, these bottles of uh, leap potions of leaping are not getting automatically filled in here, so we can't do it again. But we can do this fairly quickly. So now we have max installable three. All right, I made one too many. Ah, whoops! <laughs> Doesn't matter. Oh. Press one and press shift, click into those. Um, all right, so they're one by one, so they're not too they're not too expensive in terms of space. Next one 
is the Draconic Flight Module. So we made last time the Wyvern Flight Module, another rocket, another potion of slow falling, and some uh, Wyvern cores, plus some Draconium, Awakened Draconium, this, this one. Now this is a 3x3 three three module, and there's one installable. So let's have a look at this, but listen to him. Then we shift click this into here, it's going to come in, it's going to take a lot of space up, as you can see. So maybe it makes sense to move other stuff around and put this at the bottom, somewhere like that. So now we should be able to fly. Um, indeed we can. I'm not sure how to switch over modes yet, we'll figure that one out. But we get creative flight, flight so we don't drop. As you can see, we're not dropping down at all, press F5. And that, now we're glowing orange. <laughs> That's pretty cool, isn't it? I like that one, actually. Well, we do, you do need uh, Draconic or Armour in order to be able to get to the uh, um, to deal with the Chaos Dragon. So uh, well, I'm looking at that. I'm looking at this stuff. Now we've got a jump boost. How far, how high can we jump? Oh, it's difficult to say, isn't it? <laughs> with the flight module in. <laughs> Never mind. Here we've got, now we've got um, a shield recovery module. What this does... It reduces the time the shield. Uh, it's a shield boost type module, and I think it reduces the time it takes by five per sec seconds. I don't know how many of these we can install in here, but we'll just have a look. That's right, so a one by one. Oh, it's telling me. Oh, I see. It's telling me here. So it, it does take. It does have an operating cost, the shield. So it does take um, 1.5 OP per tick. That shouldn't be such a problem. Well, hopefully that we won't run out of power. Here we've got an auto feeding module. And this thing basically just gives you food. So we'll take that one. And we've completed another quest to do this one. And the last one here, I forgot what this is for. Um, let's have a look. I think it's to upgrade one of these to be done on screen, but I've forgotten which one it is. So let's have a look at what I could have possibly intended to do with that one. Uh, I think it's... Let's have a look at the uses of these and find... That was the shield controller. That's not, that wasn't the one, was it? Well... Draconic Shield Capacity Module. Oh, it looks like it's that one. I can't see any others it could be. I'll... No, we can't be using it in the crafting, that wouldn't make sense. Okay. But I'm pretty sure that's what it was for. Let's have a look. Did I upgrade it or not? No, I didn't. I, oh, I suppose it's to make more of these capacity modules, because we probably want to make four at the end of the day anyway, so... We get max maximum st stuff from this one, so we're, let's have a look again at ourselves because we're looking quite cool in this stuff. <laughs> Got some, as you can see, we're, we're pretty well protected by the looks of it. And I think you can also enchant this. Let's go and have a look see if we can actually enchant it. Actually, I don't think we can. Uh, if we could, then it would show up in here, so we can't do that. That's fine. Let's put the let's put the stuff back again go back upstairs actually I don't want to go that way but I'm pretty certain that was for another module but never mind I'll, I'll figure it out in fact let's have a look at the quests now because we've done a lot of quests so let's go and have a look at those especially from Draconic Evolution so Draconic Evolution we have completed the Draconic Core so we get a reward for that one an advanced dimensional cell interesting we've completed the jump module again it's all random rewards plant riders just and i've got my i saw that drop down so i've got my inventories already full so let's just move some stuff out of oh no it's not full yet oh and i didn't put the auto feed module into the into the armor did i do that as well so that's too long in this particular case uh don't it's got no hunger it's got no uh food stored in this so i have to presumably put some food in it i'm not sure how we do that i'll have to look it up maybe i'll look it up between episodes and see if i can figure it out 
we got the other thing in here as well. So next one. So, where were we? So we've done the energy module, and we have to do that for everything anyway. So we get a terra steel chest plate, which is actually quite a decent one. Auto feed module, we get something for that one. Block of netherite, <laughs> that should be quite good, wouldn't it? Uh, a supreme black hole unit as well from this. So they're all giving quite decent rewards these at the moment. Um, which is a supreme growth accelerator. That's actually quite a pretty good one too. In fact, it's a really good one if you could recycle it. This is a netherite crafter reward collected. So these are really good rewards as it happens. And this one we get a random reward plus a random reward. Let's have a look. What do we get this time? Oh, we got a wife and hoe. Oh, wow. And we got a random reward, which I don't know what it is yet. But maybe it's just a, I think it's a dice thing we have to throw. Oh, yes. I'm a, no, it's not. Oh, that must not be here. Let's press C. Oh, I got a second one. That's interesting. Don't know where that came from, but these have to be added. You have to put stuff into this. So this requires an energy module to function, the wyvern has. So we've got all of these things. Supremium black hole unit from industrial for going extra storage netherite crafter. Uh, Supremium growth accelerator, range 60 blocks. And you have to put these underneath. You can underneath the block you want it to grow faster. I should really have a look at that sometime, shouldn't I? A terra steel chest plate and a block of netherite. Fantastic. So good, reasonably good rewards for that stuff. So there's still quite a lot of things to do in... Um, Draconic evolution. A lot of the stuff which is quite good is the stuff like this dislocator unbound. So, and you can also make these awakened item dislocator. That's actually a really good one. It's basically like a magnet. So you can make this one here. You can put it into your hot bar. So we need, for example, this one we need. What are we missing in this one? Oh, too large for two bar. Let's have a look over here items was this one wasn't it so all we need then is this dislocator unbound so for that we need some blaze powder uh an ender pearl and some draconium dust now the the best way to get draconium well i'm not sure that is to actually get draconium ore from the end and then grind it up as we did last time what did i want from here eyes of ender that's right So we can make one of these pretty quickly like this. Shift click it in. I need to make this first and all, don't I? So we've got a, a dislocator unbound. In fact, I should really make two of this to so go and get a second one. Because then you can actually put that, you can do use it on yourself. If we've got enough materials, let's have a look recipe. If we've got enough res, res, resources for that, fantastic. So then you can make the item dislocator. So that's fairly straightforward once you've made one of these. And that goes in your curio slot. And this one here is the awakened item dislocator, which we can also do without much of a problem these days. I should go over here and have a look at this again. This is, how much has it got in it? It doesn't tell me here. It tells me that I've got 240 essence in here. Here I've got 192 seeds, 1,472 essence plus fertilizer. This is it's got 256 uh, draconium essence, and I think that might be the limit. So let's just, oops, let's just take some of this out of here. Really, I've got stacks of seeds already. As you can see, I'm taking it out, and I can't do anything with it because my inventory is too full. But I'll do, I'll sort that out in, off in my own time. So let's put this away over in here. So now. I'm not sure I'm going to put this do with this jump one. I don't suppose I've got any uses for it. Oh, huh. I can make it into wyvern jump module with two of them. So, okay, that's not so bad. And then potion of leaping two, which is a glowstone version of this. Let's go and have a look at this first of all. Potion of leaping. What we need for potion of leaping is a rabbit's foot. That was to be one here. But I've got, they're, they're spawning in the grinder here, so we're getting quite a few. I've got 200. So we need um, one of these. Or two will do, eventually. 
because you've got to make more than just one. You need two per recipe, don't you? So for two recipes, you need more than that. And here I've done a little bit of automation. In fact, as you can see, this one has got Potion of Leaping in it. And that's handy. Um, and I've got a red zone signal here. So this lever is attached directly to the brew stance. That, so that, what it's doing there is actually is powering this hopper here. So this hopper is powered. So nothing's going to go into this chest in here like this. But I've got some cluster in here too. So on the other side here is coming around and it's having this uh, redstone torch, which is actually not powering this hopper. So anything in this hopper, so at the moment we've got water bottles, will go in. So in this chest I've got some more water bottles. So they're not going into here until we turn this swap it around. And then that locks, well actually at the moment it will go in, but it's already full so it can't go anything into it. So now what we're going to do is put in a glowstone dust in here, like that. And then make potions of leaping too. And then we can do, actually we can just follow the whole thing through, couldn't we? So we need one of these. Let's put this one back into here like this. One of those, and one glowstone will make the ingredients we need for the next one. So now it's completed. So we've now got potion of leaping too, that's great. So you just turn the lever off. These items are now going to go into here, as you can see. And in here, this is now locked. Nothing's coming into here, so it's empty. Oh, wrong one. So it's empty. So when we swap the lever back over, this goes off, and then it allows the bottles to fill up into here, which is fantastic. So now we can simply put this into here. And then on the hopper above here, I've got for the other two ingredients, like that. And when, we, when it's finished, you get three gurgles later on, we'll have these potions. So we need two of these, don't we? So let's do that. And then upgrade, upgrade this one. I don't think there's a quest reward for it. But that's how I've been doing my brews. Because I don't do too many brews. And it is handy to be able to automate it a little bit. So where's that rabbit's foot gone to? I don't see it. I'll put it away. Oh, I see it. Let's take this out of here. So we need the uses of this. Oh, oh yes, I've got one in here. Okay, I need to get one out of my out of the armor here, so let's do that as well at the same time. Actually, I could do four, couldn't I? I've got four to do. So then we only end up with two of these, so that's fine. Well, I expect the next level up requires two of these anyway, so we're going to end up making a load of them. So I haven't wasted anything. So let's have a look. Uses, uses of this one. We should be able to click it in and make one of those. Now, I think we'll have two more bottles ready here. Let's have a look. Has that finished its processing? Yes, it has. So we can switch this over and take out another two bottles from here like that. Uh, we could do if I've got enough space. Ha <laughs> ha. Tell you what I'll do. I'll just put the chests in here for the time being and take this out. And then I'll spend ages looking for where I'll put those chests later on. Uh, so let's have a look. another recipe for this one. Oh, we're missing some Dekoni ingots. No big deal. I have actually been processing some crushed endstone uh, in here. And basically what I did is I put a hopper on. Took the first one out of the top here, put a hopper on it. And the hopper would then feed it and replace it with some crushed endstone. So for example, I can't do it now, come in for entry too far. And then outside here we get draconian ingots. In fact, we get a fairly reasonable amount. And I have no space left. So I'll tell you what we can actually do. We'll get rid of the gold. So we've got gold ingots here. And then we can take some a stack of draconium or like that. Oh. So now we can up, upgrade this one. Let's have a look. Must be. Good. So we've now got two. So now we can put those into the armor. I presume that they take the R1 slot, but they might be bigger. No, they're not. They're fine. So now we've got a jump boost to 150%. Interesting. I should, what I should do is probably remove, let's do this. Let's remove the light, elytra. Put it back into our, our, our bar and then put this back on again. Oh, ah, I see. It just, it just ate. We've just got, so our food now is presumably got some food in this one. Alt one. We have to press alt one and we should be able to see it. So I've now got 40 food 
hunger points stored up before we had cereal. Okay, fantastic. Oh, and you can see it on here. This it shows you've got food bars on here. Great. So that's how far can we jump now? We've got one hundred fifty percent. Oh, not quite enough to jump on top of this, but it, we can certainly jump up two blocks, which is fantastic. Yeah, I can do that. I guess. Yeah. Very handy. So I'll make some more of those between episodes. Let's put the let's put this back in into the armor again so we can fly. Like that. So it's looking reasonably good and there's still some more things to make. A bucket of blood will have to do, but that's easy enough. We'll do that at some other time. But some extra shield will produ produce this one. Because we've got 55 and if I increase it by adding these, we'll get a lot more. We get 250 points for that one. For this one we get 50, but we've actually got an extra five. So that must be coming from some, one of those other modules probably. That's an extra 10. We put this one in, didn't we? So we get an extra five for doing this recovery module. Okay, cool. Right. There's a lot to, um, there's definitely a lot to Draconic Evolution. Well, that's interesting. This Draconic Armor is actually causing a lot of lag. <laughs> Let's just put it away, see if it gets rid of it. Ooh. No, I've got a lot of lag. Far too much. I'm not sure what's causing this, to be honest with you. Um, maybe I have to restart the game. Anyway, before I go before I go today, let's have a look at one other thing. Let's have a quick look at Blood Magic. Actually, no, I don't want to look at Blood Magic. There's something else I'd like to look at first, and that's mob grinding utilities. In here I've got a... Uh, a turtle egg. I'm not sure if oh, it is changing color. I think so it probably is growing. But what we can do is we can actually make. Let's have a look at more more grounding utilities. I'm a bit worried about this to be done honest with you because I don't like the uh, the warning of the GPU level being overloaded, uh, which it shouldn't be because we're not doing anything. We haven't looked at this yet, have we? This locator unbound, and we haven't looked at the awakened dislocator either. So let's go and do that. Upstairs, I've been setting up some stuff for Britannia. We'll have a quick look at that, but maybe another day. So if I come along here, for instance, and I want to right-click this point here with the orb, you must first set the dimension by shift right-clicking. Okay, so we're now bound to this location. So if I come along here now and right-click this, I come back to this this point here. It actually seems to do take a bit of health doing that one. And this one, we can turn, shift right click it to turn stuff on, and I just picked up six eggs from over there. So I have to be careful because I think I was making some mana over here. And it looks like it's finished. Okay, because this mana pool is just about full, as you can see. Um, and I was messing around with some way of. This is actually a design, not my design. This is a design. From from Matt, uh, Mischief of Mice, his design for doing it. I was going to use Danny and Son's design, but it goes under the ground. This one goes up. So if you want to look at it, uh, and I'm not sure what I've done. Oh, it's over here. Let's just break this. And you see that? It didn't it dis just disappear, didn't it? Thing. And I can put this into my inventory, if I, into my hotbar here. So we've got it in a hot bar. So anything that drops down will get picked up, which is not very good for things. Actually, it's not very good for uh, Britannia. Britannia doesn't like this stuff. But what we can do here is to put this into here. And I think I have got no empty buckets in here yet. I actually should put this empty bucket in there. And then it needs a bucket in here, so I probably should do that. Well, I'll do that another day. Not important. So there we are. So wherever we are now, we should be able to teleport straight back. Let's try it. As you can see, we're in the end. 31 uses remaining. Oh, okay, so it's sort of, it sort of uses itself up. I won't waste it then. Let's just go back. Oh, that's interesting. I spawned here. I'm not sure why. 
Uh, did my respawn point disappear? Oh, yes, of course, because I just moved the bed. Right, I'll just reset it again. Yes. So what I said is what we're going to have a look at is mob grinding utilities. So let's have a look at the recipe for mob grinding utilities because I didn't <laughs> mob grinding utilities. I don't know what I just said. We've got all of these things. And I was wondering about this particular block, the entity spawner. It's not too expensive. I have ended up blocks of solid XP, which are coming, which are just the jelly babies made into blocks. I think there's another way to do this actually. Very bouncy and lots of fun. I think you can simply put it in. In no, maybe not. Maybe you have to do it this way. I'm not sure. And then you make this thing up, and I've made one up already. And then what it says is you put a spawn egg in top of it, on top of it, and it should start to spawn whatever creature you're working. With. Okay, let's do that. So here are the bits and pieces I made. I made a spawner, and I made one of these swabs. And I actually got a rabbit spawn egg. We'll have a look at that in a second. And I, and I got a seed. And I think that's what we need. And a redstone signal. That's the important bit. So, for example, let's go and say we want to spawn one of the animals that we've got, say, upstairs. I think I've got one pig. So maybe I would like to make another pig. So here's the pig here. If I can get hold of that pig. Oh, I need some carrots, don't I? I think I've got some carrots in my back here. So if I should put those into my offhand. Like that. The, the pig will come to me like this, and I can right click him with a swab. So it's now go, it's got this lime green color of on the swab. Fantastic. So now what we have to make is one of these uh, seeds. So it tells you here, actually, it says craft with a bucket of XP and seeds. Okay, so we need a bucket of XP. So I need a bucket. Let's get one of those out. And seeds. I think it doesn't matter what type of seeds we've got. I'll just put these eggs away because I'll fill up my inventory if I'm not careful. So a bucket of XP we can take from here easily enough. So that's an XP drain and this is an XP singularity tank. So we get plenty of that. So we just need to craft these together. So it says a bucket of XP plus the swab plus the seed. I just go into the top up. Well, of course, I can't shift it in. I do remember that. Thinking about it, and that will give a GM food contains Minecraft pig DNA. So you take this bucket, here, like this GM food, like this. Then we go upstairs and we feed one of those chickens with this. So any of these chickens will do. It doesn't matter. I think they're all grown up now. Yes, they are good. Doesn't matter which one I feed, that one. Happy birthday, <laughs> so he just blew up, you saw. And I get a spawn, a pig spawn egg here, yeah, like that. Let's go down again. Actually, we could do it here, it doesn't make any difference. So we could put this XP spawner down like that. And then we can shift click this pig spawner into it here, but then it needs something else. Okay. And it's got a show area. So we also need to put down a redstone lever in front of it, or put it on a redstone block, it doesn't make much difference, but a redstone lever is convenient if you can do it. But it needs some jelly babies. This means jelly babies. So let's go and get some XP jelly babies. In fact, I'll do that and come straight back. So I've now got some um, jelly babies in here, so we just shift click that into that, and it should start to work. No, it's not working because it's not turned on yet. I have to turn the redstone signal on. And then you can see this is working you've got a little pig picture in here uh, and it's already produced one pig i don't want too many pigs around but there we are so that's how the entity mob spawner from mob grinding utilities works so i also got eight raw, raw pork chops from the one that exploded wow cool so that's it for this episode i do hope you've enjoyed it so until next time i wish you all the best bye for now